Here come the Steiner Brothers. From collegiate wrestling standouts to the WWE Hall of Fame. The following contest is a tag team Extreme Rules match. And is for the WCW World Tag Team Championship. And at a combined weight of 531 pounds, Rick and Scott. The Steiner Brothers! College wrestling legends, but there's no sportsmanship on display tonight. The Steiners are here to beat people up and enjoy every second of it. Buckle up. Someone's getting tossed around. A tag team equally built for wrestling and a good old-fashioned fight. Detroit tough, next-level power, and unmatched in-ring stamina. Gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. We've got D-Generation X ready to get things going here. And that was taking the inch. He got in there. Good save. Looking for the Hurricanrana. Oh, maybe not. This is not going to end well. Avoids the attack. DDT. Inverted atomic drop. Boom. Waist lock. No, no. Fell in the belly. My goodness. Oh. Veteran instincts are Triple H. So many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. This match grinded him down a little. Lifted way up. And did you hear the impact of that? Counter. And now there's an opening. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Fight. 
Mike. This feels so unsafe. Oh, right to the belly. Out of the way in time. Ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? 
Matt believes Scott for the call for concern. Steiner needs to shake off the cobwebs and regain poise. in. Measure. And, oh, knee drop. Woo. And some effective offense with that one. Oh, knee drop. What are they doing here? And that was offense with a thoughtful purpose. Now thanking the cerebral assassin. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And Steiner showing there's still quite a bit of fight left in him. I bet Steiner's looking to bring this match to a close. For the on display, guys. The following contest is a Falls Cat The WCW United States Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Jacksonville, Florida. Save it. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. Unfortunately, though, despite her undeniable talent, she still very much relies on cheating to gain the upper hand. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on her in this one. Or actually, more importantly, the referee will have to keep an eye on her in this one. And from Boise, Idaho, Corey Wilson. 
So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. The path doesn't matter. Here's where it counts. Here is where it's settled. The prize is on the line. There's the bell, and this falls count anywhere match is now underway. No way of knowing where these superstars could end up taking this fight. The outside, backstage, the parking lot. Heck, even the rafters are in play now. I doubt it'll be pretty, but I can promise you this match will be pretty interesting. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. From the top. Referee in position. Two. Making sure to get her shoulder up after two. Well, that might have been closer than she thought it would be. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, the face has been planted. And what's the difference between preparing for a false count anywhere match versus, say, a no DQ? In a no DQ or extreme rules match, you'd at least have to be pinned in the ring. But not here. There truly is no safe harbor, so it's important to mind your surroundings. Driving a knee right to the ribs. Ooh, ah, knee left. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, she needs to revise her methods quickly. She's forced onto the defensive now. She's absorbed some hits, but she knew this Falls Count Anywhere match would be tough. Focused attack on the leg. Bang! Able to avoid there. Big clothesline. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Hair pull back slam. And she is doing whatever she wants right now. Yeah, she's riding a rough shot over her. Win at any cost. So much force there. Ooh, slam! With authority. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Stomping. Ouch. Block the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Oh, back first. Oh, God. And momentum is fading away from her. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Nasty stop of the arm. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. She sent flying into the corner. Saw that one coming. That's the trigger for her to battle her way back into this. Taken down with a chop block. And it's scouted. Here's the pin. Title on the line. She breaks the count there. She's 
still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Stuck in the corner, teeing off a series of brutal kicks. Set out of the ring, not sure she wants to be here. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Oh. And a slap, too. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. She scores big with the can. Look at this. Check out face after that one. The pain window beckons. Makes the cover. Wow, just barely making it out. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? I don't know what they're looking for here. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer. And she's clearly got devious intentions in her mind here. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. The end is looming now. Yeah, this is... their way out of that one. Yeah. Uh, with a championship on the line. She gets the shoulder up. She just will not go away. Oh, what a kick. And she finds herself on the receiving end again. It'll be an arduous task for her to recover after tonight's battle. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Great counter. Here we go! Up high! Wow! Looking for the victory! Two! And a kick out at two! Good lord, scarily close to three. Got it! Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. She wants it one more time! Atlanta with a face buster. Can she shut the door on this one? Two count, well, and a kick out. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. And now she's demonstrated her whole arsenal. Yeah, she is going all out. She anticipated that one. Oh, Harrison! All measured up. Drop kick to the back.
end it. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. Here is your winner. champion Corey Wilson truly a huge win for this superstar or should I say for the new champion tonight is definitely a night to celebrate but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long road ahead of them now at least if they're lucky oh come on Corey don't be such a party pooper we've got a new champion He's too cool. But watch out for the stunt face. The following contest is a triple threat tables match. And is for the WCW World Television Championship. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 425 pounds. Rikishi. He's held the Intercontinental Championship, multiple tag team titles. And Kishi may be the best dancer in WWE history, besides you, Cole. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. Hey, did you guys know I used to watch Rikishi tapes to get ready for my eighth grade? Anyhow, Corey, what do you think about Rikishi and his career? I think Rikishi is one of the most fun-loving, yet dominant WWE superstars we have ever seen. Deceptively agile, hard-hitting, and no one has more fun than the big man. What about me? Saxton, get off the desk. This is not permission for you to twerk. Oh, raising the roof, Corey. Watch me. And his opponents, first from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 450 pounds, the man they call Vader. Vader time has led the Mastodon to become a multiple-time WCW champion, a multiple-time champion in Japan. And tonight, Vader looks ready to exhibit even more dominance. True intimidation on display when Vader enters the arena. One of the all-time greats. So many championship wins and classic matches. But above all else, the Mastodon. Vader lives for a good fight. WWE Universe on their feet in awe at the size of Andre the Giant. And from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. There is only one Andre the Giant. Yeah, a man whose supremacy is unmatched and a man who helped build the very foundation of WWE. A tower of a man, but the epitome of evil and destruction. Andre can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. I hope they reinforce the ring here tonight for the presence of Andre the Giant.
The prestigious honor to be a champion is here for the taking in this. Sure to be a chaotic tables match, and it will be exciting with Rikishi, Vader, and Andre the Giant. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Oh my gosh, what impact! Oh man, check out this power! way for a superstar to avoid going through a table here. You gotta be quick and you have to be aware because you can go through a table at any time. To that end, you always need to know where the tables have been set up and avoid making mistakes in that area. Looks like they want to take things outside. No telling what they have in store now. Oof! Lands the haymaker. He's returning fire. Face Buster plants him. Ah, the QC is all business now. All oh, the giant answers back. And well timed maneuver there. He is truly feeling it right now. As well he should. Thank you. 
is looking like he wants nothing to do with it. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. It'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Here they come. This is going to be an all-out war. These two won't even wait for the opening bell. The official desperately trying to, try to separate these two. But I'm not sure that's going to be possible. Well, tensions have already boiled over. We haven't even had the bell yet. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. It's obvious the issues between these two are so deeply personal. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Elbow drop. Couple of them connecting, and then a little ah uh, scrape to the face. And will this be it? And a kick out. They got close there. It could be do or die time. Clearly waiting for that. If there's one thing we know, Corey, it's that Hollywood Hulk Hogan plays by a different set of rules. In fact, he pretty much throws out the rule book altogether. Absolutely. But even if he's donning the black and white, he's still the immortal Hulk Hogan. Hollywood can win this by the book or by throwing the rule book out. And Hogan's finding the momentum in this. 
this one. And just like I said, Hollywood Hogan simply dominating. He might just win this one by the book, guys. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Hogan able to avoid that. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. They are fading off the WWE fans now, pinning the arm down and oh, stop right to the hand. The body is starting to fail at this point. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. He saw that one coming. Saxton 
but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. And no doubt Hogan has found a groove in this match. He can't become discouraged now. Able to sidestep it. The WWE Universe really these superstars on. Pumping the adrenaline they so desperately need right now. Hogan's waiting. He's fixated. The Ulster with a body slam. We know what comes next. Hogan might have just ended this one. For the win. Two count. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here is your winner, Hollywood Hogan. So chalk up a win for them in this match, and I think it's safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. It took plenty of cunning and some killer instinct, but what a win. Maybe not the words I would have chosen for describing how they pulled this off, but yeah, they won. The Glamazon, one of the most dominant women in WWE history. Beth Phoenix looks poised for competition here tonight. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WCW Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix has cannons for arms, holding indomitable pillars of strength and beauty. In layman's terms, the Glamazon is jacked, stacked, and ready to break someone's back. The strongest woman in WWE history. And representing D-Generation X from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world. She is a bona fide trailblazer for women's wrestling. She's made history her entire career, especially during the Attitude Era. Yeah, what a career China's had, and of course her relationship with D-Generation X putting her on the map. Former champion in her own right. A former Intercontinental Champion, Cole. And a women's champion. Social media is buzzing, as it always is, when this title is defended. Traditionally, things have to get to a pretty heated place for superstars to end up in a steel cage. The cage is designed to keep all interference and distraction out of the equation. In the steel cage, it's just you and your opponent. Nobody in. Nobody out. Fortitude being tested with every step. Trying to make their way out of the cage. This is not going to end well. Oh, no. She is set to plummet into the canvas. Oh, that was a devastating fall. Placed in the corner. Reversal. Can she capitalize? The steel cage contains all the distinct superstars have for one another. Corey, what does the superstar have to do to come out on top? You need to be keenly aware of the situation at all times. There are a number of ways to win this match, and you have to know which to attempt and when. True words have never been spoken. If your opponent is prone on the ground, you have to assess the situation. You might have the power to kick out, but not quite enough energy to stop you from an escape. If they're far from the door, walking out might be a better option than the door. Certainly plenty of... Victory. For the title! And she's not done yet. 
she likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Wicked clothesline. Good point for a pin for the championship. Power right out in one. I think this match still has a ways to go. Just raining down elbows. Here's the pin. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She's still in this one. Ooh, and Beth fights back. Beth Phoenix displaying that power. Look at her opponent. My cardio rack is in. Ah, oh, look at this. She's in trouble. And that's one way out of it. Ducking out of trouble. And there's a takedown. Now she's scaling the cage wall. The sprint up the cage is on. He's made it all the way to the top of the cage. And she doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. A really impressive showing in this steel cage match. She can't be liking the view from up there. And that was a well-executed attack. Victory could be in sight for her as she continues up and over the top of the cage. She has to come down somehow. Hopefully it's in one piece. Oh, man. Got to wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. to scale the side of the cage. She's probably come to the realization of how high up she is now. Trading blows, perched. Oh, not from up there. No, 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 no. Oh, the cage and out of that hard. To borrow a famous phrase. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was an extreme. I don't know what is. Yeah, she looks completely drained of energy. And every inch climb puts you in a more peril. Oh, steel. Making the big climb towards victory. Uh-oh. She's set from the cage down to the ring. That was rough, even for someone tough like her. The only thing keeping her upright. With the championship on the line. Oh, barely kicks out. She just won't stay down. Oh, look at the ninth one of the world. China. Exclamation delivered by China. Two. What in the world? What is it going to take to keep her down? The answer might be more than her opponent can offer. And now it's reload time. Time to find another moment to pull out that one more time. In search of some footing to make this huge climb. With the counter. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. Landing. Oh, that could not have felt good. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. Trying to escape the cage. Nasty impact. And she is set crashing back. Here's the big time. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Uh oh, get ready to kill the crowd. Oh man! And China has 
has established control. Yeah, China isn't getting any quarter, any mercy. Sidewalk slam. China is being stopped. Dangerous situation. Double chicken wing applied. And that was an effective attack, guys. China in big time jeopardy. Two. What a kick out. She's not done yet. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. Big maneuver executed perfectly, but still was not enough. seen in the ring. The roof just came off this place. And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper can get in anybody's head. You're absolutely right about that, Cole. This man didn't just change the questions. He rewrote the entire script. Hot Rod is always ready for a fight. The rowdy one, the master manipulator. The man who changed the game. And he rocks a kilt pretty well, too. Superstar is about to feel the Latino heat as he faces Eddie Guerrero. Forget the rule book. Eddie knows how to break every rule in the library.
This is a highly coveted title up for grabs. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of when they're battling under extreme rules. Oh, make no mistake about it. This match is high stakes, high risk, and high reward. A mistake here can take years off your career. Yeah, it's impossible to predict what kind of danger awaits because everything and anything is legal here, gentlemen. Sit down, powerbomb! No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Look at him now. He realizes he's holding the great equalizer. Face first into the chair. Oh! He steers clear of contact. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Oh, a strong impact. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. Because it's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. Oh, the Buckner with a low drop kick. Right across the face. Oh, right in there. Quick exchange of counters there. get wild and he heads out of the ring no count outs no worries brought back into the ring from the floor now and now with the kendo stick in hand he's ready to do some real damage i can't believe what i'm seeing i thought this superstar was finished now they're in control yeah, apparently not never underestimate what this superstar is capable of Set him up. It could be time for the triple verticals. Spin those hips, Eddie. There's number two. And here comes Mario Migos. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Able to get that shoulder up so quickly. What a statement. Sorry, European uppercut. What's Eddie got in mind here? Uh-oh. -uh. in this one. He's got the answer for that one. Elbow smash. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading, fading. All right, this one's over. Tap out, cup, and breaks out of the sleeper. Bringing the focus to the temple, hoping to disorient. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, the physical price of the extreme rule stipulation is really starting to show now. Oh, no, 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 no. Guerrero's falling victim to the onrush right now. Guerrero has to be plotting some way to get back into this.
Rounding it down to Ponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. Sadistic look that only comes when ladders enter the equation. Roddy Piper able to adapt. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Driven into the barricade. Slam. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Eddie Guerrero looking for the submission. The lasso from El Paso applied. What a unique submission maneuver here. Look at the pain his opponent's in. How much punishment can he tolerate right now? Sweet. Championship dream has become reality. Honestly. the arena. Intensity personified and as dangerous as ever. Go, get up. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve. Cole, how can we forget about multiple occasions where Byron Saxton received a stunner? Oh, gosh, do you have to remind me of that again? That stunner hurt. It was the greatest moment of my professional career. I agree.
One thing is certain, in a TLC match, you're guaranteed some car wrecks and some insanity, and this one is no exception. I just wish everyone in the WWE Universe could witness one of these matches live and in person, Michael, because the speed and the intensity and the bone-jarring collisions are things that need to be seen to be believed. I completely agree, Saxon. Matter of fact, you should get even closer. You should call this one in the ring. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, heinous knee to the face. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? He'll head to the ring. He saw it coming, taking advantage. This one is headed outside, guys. Quick return to the ring. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Ooh. Any pointers for these superstars in this TLC match? Yeah, use all three letters. This match is a license to do whatever you want, so don't hold back. Maybe even throw some stairs while you're at it. Just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Getting him into the corner. Able to get the advantage here. Heck is trapped. Suplex. Was ready for that. Here is your winner, 